Crime and criminality have been inherent societal issues over time and in response to curbing its wave and effects on innocent citizens. Society has always initiated strategies and created agencies saddled with the responsibility of containing its scourge and spread. Security outfits like the police and recently the Civil Defense Corps have been primarily known agencies in the battle to contain these menace over time. But as society keeps evolving with new trends and developments, especially in technology, new waves of criminalities have also evolved and weighing heavily on these known security agencies, especially the Nigeria Police Force. In recent times, this situation has led to the involvement of the military most of the time in assisting in checking internal security issues. We've not had it really funny concerning security or insecurity. It's better to call it insecurity because uh, it's not an easy thing to really handle. The night of the one term killing, the soldiers kept here, disappeared, they ran away because it was a fearful episode. It has never been like that before. It was like we're in a war front. There was sporadic shooting for a number of hours. The dimension of current security challenges in our society today is quite alarming and putting everybody at risk of one aspect of crime or the other. There are aspects of criminality today that we are probably not known in years back and therefore adds more pressure on the chances of checkmating crime. Since the recent killings, beginning with the um, 30th of March, that's when the new phase entered. 30th of March at Roma here, where a gentleman, one or who, a prince or who was killed. And what is that my job? Is to let our people know, to tell those people, these courtes, these bad boys, now we call them good boys, that they should remember that there is no how you will forget your home. Your home is your home. Staying outside, planning on how to invade your community is not a good thing. Today, the best strategies advocated are usually self-help approaches to assist the established agencies like the police to make reasonable impact in the struggle against crime. There are a few things we may not tell you about the traditional things we are doing. If you want, we have put libation, we have called on the deities to do what they have to do to ensure that culprits will be brought to book. We have done all that. We have reported to the police. We now introduce these restraints. After 7 p.m., the bikes no longer run. 9 p.m., the motors no longer run. If we catch you, we will interrogate you. But again, that is not effective. It's not as effective as we want it to be. So what will make it effective is the committed presence. Repeat, committed, diligent presence of the police, of the law and forces. We are pained. In river states, this is manifested in self-communal security efforts like creating checks at entrances to streets operated by community vigilante groups and other neighborhood security watch. For their safety and to achieve optimum results, most of the security groups who operate these checks and watch do so undercover by coming out mostly in the night when vulnerability to crime is often at its highest rate. We engage some security boys that take care of our area before you come in in the night. They will check you, you know, search your car. If, if you are a face that lives around there, they know. You, they will allow you to come in, but they will still check your car. But if you don't stay around there, they will stop you and question you and try to know who you are looking for. Yeah. They are trying the best they can, but there are still some little, little thefts here and there. The response of the local community towards these efforts vary in many ways to support the success of keeping their neighborhood safe. Financial support is often of essence in addition to giving useful information geared towards arrest of criminals. We have 
uh, uh, a placard. Yeah. If you are new in this very community, your landlord will tell you go and meet social people to identify yourself with them. Tell them what you are doing, what you are up to. The reason why you left where you are staying before. The reason why he wants to stay in our community. That has been what we are doing all this while. Every month we pay, it depends on, in a company, it depends on how many, like each flat pay like 1,000 or 2,000. There are some, some companies have about um, three, four, five flats. They will just gather money and give to them, buy them torch, them boots, uh, cutlasses and, you know, things to secure the area with. Then we pay them monthly. There was a time the vigilance group was set up as long run, they backed out. Because sometimes there are some that complain that they don't pay them. And there's no way one will be working with their payment. To a large extent, the relative peace so enjoyed in most communities and the states is achieved through these efforts. This leaves a clear on call for support for such agencies through proper synergy with security efforts if meaningful impact is expected in our collective fight against crime.